Hey guys, uh, so tonight's Flash episode, um, lots of stuff have been happening in Central City. Uh, pretty much the whole team now knows uh, about Wells, and they've even been in his secret room. I believe that's kind of where we left them last, was in his secret room and trying to get out with him maybe approaching. So um, will they get caught? Barry has seen the future with the uh, newspaper that Wells keeps and always looks at, kind of weirdly. Um, it's like, what is that about? Uh, and how important the future is. So, Wells' secret is out. Everyone knows it. I mean, Caitlin can't even deny it anymore. You know that 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 they found Wells' body um, in Starling City. We had some fun crossovers with that with Black Canary. What what? Uh, that was really fun with the Canary Cry. By the way, love Cisco being the um, geek tech. Uh, the nerd guy for all the superheroes. So that leaves us with what? Uh, are they going to confront Wells? Are they going to keep Wells in the dark? What is happening? Ah! What is Trippy is the name on the byline? Fire Sparks. Alan? Awesome Sparks? I think I've got a really bad idea. <laughs> See, he does like good things, and you're like, but Dark World like sometimes cares. I don't know. I don't understand. Everything that you need, you already have. He's so good at these speeches. Thank you. If we can just recreate those conditions, it'll do it again. And kill Cisco. Sometimes I just want to hug Barry. I do. Just hug him. I feel so bad for Eddie. Okay, the whole trap thing just kind of seems like a bad idea. Am I right? Am I right? I'm like, come on. <laughs> Scary. Bad idea. Like, <laughs> like that kind of bad idea. What the hell? I told you this before. I am always one step ahead. Flash. Oh, now what? Wells. He's kind of like in the wind. Thank God. So uh, everything that the season's been setting into motion really seemed to come to a head tonight. Wells knows. Everybody knows. We were no more of this. Well, I know, but he doesn't know that I know and all that kind of jazz. I mean, it was like friends with Monica and Chandler. Am I right? It's like, well, he knows, but I don't want him to know that he knows that I know that. Uh, anyway, and Iris finally had that final feeling that the flash was Barry. Uh, Eobard uh, basically said on the proposal from Eddie, so I'm going to think that Iris is not his great, 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 great grandma. I'm going to think that maybe that's someone else. And I'm interested to see where Eddie's going to go. Like, is Eddie going to become a bad guy because of this? A, he's going to, looks like he's going to lose Iris. He's probably going to lose Iris to Barry. That's pretty much clear. I mean, we saw the West Allen byline um and she seems to be wavering and joe thinks she's wavering and she the proposal didn't happen so eddie's gonna lose iris i think eddie's gonna gonna go team thon uh you know family blood blood's thicker than water kind of stuff you know what i mean caitlin we're still i feel is not getting close to killer frost uh maybe that's not this season maybe that's next season or something. The whole thing with setting using Cisco as a trap, I was like, oh, this is not gonna end well. This, this, this is not not gonna go well. Um, so that was annoying. Where's Barry go from here? He didn't get the confession. He's not gonna get the confession. So as far as we know, the timeline's still staying the same. He's still gonna go back. He's still gonna fight him. And Nora's gonna be collateral damage. Barry mentioned in the show that you know, Wells is often so kind and nice. And why is he so kind and nice? I mean, is it all a, a long con? Is that it? I mean, he just, I mean, and even Wells said, well, he's grown fond of them. We see Wells in the past looking at comatose Barry and saying, I'm going to kill you. There's something that Barry does to him later on that just is unforgivable, I guess. And part of me thinking is this, everything that's happened is just setting those wheels in motion. Like if Wells hadn't done all this, those wheels wouldn't have happened and that future wouldn't have happened. And, you know, like you can't go back in the past and kill Hitler, you know, like that's the, the fixed point in time idea, right? 
what we got from tonight's episode. Looks like Iris uh, at least has a pretty good inkling that it's Barry. Um, everyone knows that Wells is bad, and Wells knows that everyone knows that Wells is bad. Um, Eddie now knows it's his great, 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 whatever. Um, so I don't know where that leaves anyone or where we're going with this. You know, I mean, is is that going to be the end game? Do we have to take down Wells at the end of the season? You know, is Wells the Lex Luthor? Is he just the bad, bad forever and that we never take him down and he's just going to be out there? Um, right now he's in the wind. But it looks like he's looking for a fight. And we got Grodd coming up. He's bringing up Grodd. So next week we get Grodd. Uh, finally, we're going to get like a whole episode of Grodd, it looks like. So cool. The last uh, few episodes of Flash are going to be pretty darn exciting, I think, this year. Um, all right. So if you like watching TV shows with me, Flash, Arrow, Game of Thrones, um, those are kind of the ones right now. I might do an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. for the last episode. Uh, I did already see Avengers. So what, what? It was awesome. All right. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel right here, and I will talk to you guys later.